Hi, uh, we are going to discuss how to uh, create and work with uh, truth tables for conditional and biconditional statements. So a conditional is a statement that's going to be in the form if then. So let's consider these simple statements. P, it's raining outside. Q, I'm going for a walk. So conditional can be formed by writing the following. If it is raining outside, then I'm going for a walk. Uh, these statements don't necessarily have to make much sense, so, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. So how do you write it in symbolic form? The way you can write that is going to be P, and you're going to put this arrow, Q. You, you read it as P implies Q. And that's another way to write that. You can also put this here. All right. So let's complete the truth table for P implies Q. This is how it's going to work. True, true will give you true. True, false will give you false. I'll get to that in a moment. False, true will give you true. And false, false will give you true. So why does it? Why is it like that? Uh, I want you to consider these four statements and see. Uh, if it makes sense. So the first one is going to be if my score is 95 then I got an A. That's true, true. And that's obviously a true statement. Take a look at the second one. If my score is 95 then I did not get an A. Does that sound like a true statement to you? I don't think so. That's the true false part. And the whole thing is false. But let's take a look at the other two. If my score is not 95 then I got an A. Is that a true statement? Well, not necessarily. You could have gotten 85 and you don't have an A, so that's a true statement. If my score is not 95, then I did not get an A. Is that a true statement? No, because you could have gotten 94 and you still have an A. So this is the only one here, the second one, which is true false. That's going to be a false statement. So you need to know this, you need to remember this, because that's what you use for conditional statements. So let's do it for P implies not Q. So of course, first of all, we need to uh, do this. So true, false, false, true, true, false, false, true. Okay. So P implies not Q. TF gives us F. TT gives us T. FF gives us true. And FT gives us true. Let's make it a little more complicated and bring in um, or into this mix. So we want to show that P implies Q or not Q. So P implies Q will be true. TF will be F. FT true. And true. Then we need not Q. So not Q is false, true, false, true. And now with this we have or, so one or the other, true, false will be true. False, true will be true. True, false will be true. And uh, false, true, true will be true. So we got all of them, um, they're all true. Let's do it for Q implies Q and not P. Okay, so we need to first, because I left it blank on purpose, uh, what are we going to need? So we're trying to do this, so we already have this column. What do we need here? We're going to need not P. We're going to need Q and not P. And we're finally going to need Q implies Q and not P. Okay, so not P. That's going to be false, false, true, true. Q 
and not P. So you need to be careful these two. And so true false. False, 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 true, 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 false, true, false. So now we're doing Q implies this. So we're working with these two columns. So this implies that. So we're going in the correct direction. So true, false will give us true, uh, I'm sorry, false. False, false will give us true. True, true will give us true. And false, false will give us true. Completing the truth table for not Q and P implies P. So we're going to need not Q. We're going to need not Q, not Q, and P. And we're going to need not Q and P implies P. I will address one thing here in the moment. So not Q will be false, true, false, true. Correct. So not Q and P. That's these two. So true false is false. True true is true. False true is false. False true is false. So here's uh, one thing that you need to be careful with. You're trying to show that this implies that. So you need to go from here to there. You will have to look at that this way because we're going to this. And uh, what's important is when you do this, you have to read it in that order because often students look at that going that way because you know we read left to right but we're trying to show that this implies that so this is f implies true that's true true implies true that's also true false implies false that's also true and false implies false that's also true so what i need to warn you about if you were to go in the other direction and look at that this has T and this has F, you would have put F here, which is not correct. So be very careful with the order in which uh, the statements appear in uh, for conditional statements and truth tables. So what's a biconditional? A biconditional is a statement that is going to be something if and only if something else. So a biconditional can be written in the following form. So we have two statements, an angle is right, the measure of the angle is 90 degrees. An angle is right if and only if its measure is 90 degrees. Symbolically, this is written as P. We have a double-sided arrow, Q. We do read that as P if and only if Q. Okay. So let's take a look at the truth table. Uh, with the biconditionals, the truth table is pretty simple. If it's if they both true, it's true. If they both false, it's true. The other two will be false. So how does that differ from a conditional? Just uh, take a look, and this is a, a relatively simple example. I'm using the, the example from the previous page. This is a relatively simple example where you have to um, analyze the validity of these statements. So if an angle is right, then its measure is 90 degrees. That's true. If an angle is right, then its measure is not 90 degrees. This is true, false. This is obviously a false statement. If the measure of an angle is not 90 degrees, then the angle is right. That's this one. That's also false. And if the measure of an angle is not 90 degrees, then the angle is not right. This is actually a true statement. So this is how it works with biconditionals. So let's take a look at this. 
So I want to show P, if and only if Q, uh, I'm sorry, not Q, so this is F, T, F, T, this is for not Q, so P, and, if and only if, so T, F will be a false, T, T will be T, F, F will be T, and F, T will be false. Truth table for this, P and Q, if and only if, not, Q, not P, so P and Q, that will be true, and all the other ones are false, because we need both of them to be true. Not P, that would be, so you got false, false, true, true, we're negating P, and then so one, in, uh, if and only if the other, true, false, that's false, false, false will be true, false, and the other two will be false, so that's what it looks like. All right, this gets a little complicated, and now we have three. So, if it rains out, it rains outside is P. Uh, I like cookies is uh, Q, and R you work hard. So we have to we have this statement. If it doesn't rain outside, then I like cookies. Look where the comma is, or you don't work hard. So symbolically, this is going to be if it doesn't rain outside, so not P. Then I like cookies implies Q and then we put it in parentheses or you don't work hard or you don't work hard that's not R so this is the expression that we're trying to work with so what are we gonna need here we're gonna need not P not P and R not R and then this. Please note that this table gets a lot larger because with three statements you have to consider all possible situations and there are eight possible combinations here. So we're going to have not P. Not P implies Q. And uh, actually, yeah, we, do, we need not R. And we're finally going to, I'm not going to copy that, that's what goes in here. Okay, so not P. Let's look at this. False, 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 true, 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 true. So not P implies Q. Be careful, you have to go in the correct direction. So we're going from this to this, right to left. So this is false implies true. That's true. False implies true. That's also true. False implies false, that's also true. False implies false, that's also true. True implies true, that's true. True implies true, that's true. True implies false, that's false. And this one, TF, also, that's false. Again, be very careful with direction, because sometimes you have to go backwards. So, not R. Not R. This one, false. True, false, true, false, true, false, true. So now we're doing this or this. Right? These two columns is all we're really interested in. So TF. So anything that does not have two Fs is going to be uh, true because it's or. So true. True, 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 false, and true. Okay. Yeah, it's a little more challenging when you have three statements, but it's the same concept. And what you do is just gradually go uh, and build your expression from uh, smaller pieces to more complicated ones. Okay. There's one more. Let's analyze this one. So. We're going to use the same example. It rains outside and you don't like cookies if and only if you work hard. So it rains outside, that will be P. And I don't like cookies.
if and only if you work hard. So that's R. Okay, so what are we gonna need here? We're gonna need not Q. We're gonna need P and not Q. And uh, I have one extra column which I don't really need. And then this here is going to go in there. We don't really need this. Okay. So not Q we're gonna need. Not Q will be F F T T F F T T. So P and not Q. So basically, let, let's identify where we have TT, and then the other ones will be false since it's and. So that's true, that's true, and that's it. The other ones are false. Remember, with and, mo both statements must be true. Okay? And then the final one, so if and only if, they need to be the same, either both false or both true. So we're trying to do these two columns here, you, the direction for a biconditional does not matter. So let's see, FF will give you true, TT will give you true, FF will give you true, and that's it, all the other ones will be false. And there you go, it's done. I hope this helps.